An aftershock from the March 11th earthquake with an estimated magnitude of 6.2 hit Fukushima and Miyagi prefectures in northeastern Japan at 3.51 a.m. local time on Monday. The depth of focus of the earthquake, which occurred off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture, was 40 kilometers. The meteorological agency says there is no danger of a tsunami. In Ishinomaki City, Miyagi Prefecture, Soma City, and Nara Town, both in Fukushima Prefecture, an intensity of 5 minus was registered on the Japanese scale of 0 to 7. Shocks registering lower intensities were recorded throughout wide areas of Japan, from Hokkaido to the Tokai region. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency has released the results of their analysis on how radioactive substances spread after the Fukushima Daiichi accident. The nuclear watchdog says it calculated the data based on updated figures obtained from the nuclear reactors through June. The System for Prediction of Environmental Emergency Dose Information, or SPEEDY, calculated six days' worth of data from March 12th through 17th. A map from March 12th, a day after the disaster, shows radioactive substances first flowed southeast and then gradually moved north. The data is analyzed by a computer system designed to track the movement of radioactive substances based on wind and weather. The results show the amount of radioactive substances in the atmosphere, external exposures, and accumulation on the ground. The 600 pages of information are now available on the Internet. Now, the agency will provide all the data to Fukushima Prefecture. The local government wants to use the information when conducting health research for its residents to estimate their amount of radiation exposure. Tokyo Electric Power Company is trying to figure out why a system to decontaminate radioactive water at the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant remains unstable. The system funnels in radioactive water accumulated in an underground facility and reuses it as a reactor coolant after decontaminating radioactive substances. TEPCO started the operation late last month. The system sends 3.8 cubic meters of water per hour to each of the number one and number two reactors. However, the operation has been unstable for the last three days. On Friday, the amount of water injected suddenly decreased to 3.4 cubic meters per hour at the number two reactor and then fell to 3.2 cubic meters on Saturday. At the number one reactor, water levels decreased to 3.3 cubic meters on Sunday morning. The utility is examining the pumps each time the water level varies in order to return the system to its previous volume. On Sunday, the system was halted for seven hours due to trouble with a device to remove salt from radioactive water. TEPCO restored operation with a backup mechanism. The utility says it will closely watch each system and try to track down the causes of the instability. Quit fucking around and give her the shot. Come on. Okay. Look, while I'm doing this, you take off her shirt and find her heart. Okay, that'll be exact. Yeah, it's got to be exact. You were shot in the heart. My guess has got to be fucking exact. I don't know exactly where her heart is. I mean, I think it's right here. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will examine the pipes of a system to decontaminate radioactive water. The system has been working below its target capacity. Tokyo Electric Park Company says the system, which was designed to treat 50 tons of water per hour, has actually been treating 39 tons on average since it began operating late last month. It says the operating rate was 53 percent in the past week, far below the target rate of 80 percent. We think sludge sticking to the inside of the pipes may be clogging the flow of water. TEPCO says it will install alternative pipes to reroute the flow and check whether the amount of treated water increases. If it's proved effective, the utility says it will consider replacing the pipes. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says the temperature at the bottom of the number one reactor is being kept at the lowest level since a new cooling system went into operation late last month. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the temperature fell below 100 degrees Celsius for the sixth day in a row on Sunday. 
It says the thermometer at the bottom of the reactor registered between 96 and 97 degrees, the lowest temperature since a new circulatory water injection system began operating. TEPCO says the lower temperature was achieved by raising the amount of water injected into the reactor and it wants to maintain the current condition. The nuclear fuel inside the reactor remains hot and needs to be cooled continuously. On Monday, TEPCO began implementing a revised work plan for bringing the plant under control. The second step is aimed at keeping the temperature at the bottom of the reactors below 100 degrees by January. TEPCO says the cooling system is still unstable and the amount of water to be injected into the number one reactor continues to decrease. The company says it wants to accelerate work to fix the problems. All right, what I need is a big fat magic marker. You got it? What? A magic marker! A, a felt pen! A fucking black magic marker! で、上水 a uh, long time ago, in the late 40s, early 50s, uh, when atom bombs and H-bombs were in vogue with above-ground testing, we set off uh, an atom bomb on an atoll in the Pacific. And then we waited a number of years because we wanted to answer questions like, gee, how soon after we nuked something would it be possible to get any kind of life started again? So they went back to this island and they decided to repopulate it with monkeys and the monkeys ate coconuts. Uh, everything was pretty healthy except for the fact that the husks of the coconuts were slightly radioactive. So the scientists uh, took 10 monkeys or so and taught them to wash the coconuts in the fresh water stream on the island before they cracked them open and turned the whole thing loose to see what would happen. Well, you know, pretty soon maybe 12 monkeys out of a population of 10,000 were washing their coconuts, and then 20, and then 47. But a funny thing happened. As soon as the hundredth monkey started washing his coconut husk, all 10,000 started washing simultaneously. I, I, I guess one, one way that I have always looked at my life, especially since I clearly understood what this issue was, in uh, two, late 2001 is this is my quest for the hundredth monkey.